So, I think it's pretty safe to say that this year's E3 was the best E3 for me in years. I was going to make a video that showcased my thoughts on the Sony conference in a far more ecstatic, enthusiastic manner, but every time I looked at that video, I was just saying to myself, that's not my real reaction, that's fake, it's not real. It's just something that I would look back at and cringe and think to myself, God, I shouldn't have made that. So I scrapped it, and instead started making this video. At this year's E3, Sony finally gave me a reason to be interested in getting a PS4 again, with something other than Bloodborne. That reason is, of course, The Last Guardian. Because after years of waiting, they finally showed it again, and even gave it a release date. Final Fantasy VII is finally going to be getting an HD remake for PS4, and while I'm not a fan of Shenmue, that game is finally going to be getting a third installment in the form of a Kickstarter, after I don't know how many years. And let's not forget that one fucking dinosaur robot game they showed at the conference. Like, that was awesome! Bethesda showed the new Doom, and I liked the new mapmaker it had. As for Fallout, the amount of customization for housing and weapons was just too much for me to handle. That was like a completely unexpected feature that no one saw coming. Nintendo in particular surprised me because even though I knew Star Fox was coming and I'd never really been a fan of it, Star Fox Zero looked way more in-depth and fun to play than the older ones. And this is coming from a guy who loved the fuck out of Star Fox Adventures. I mean, hell, even Mario Maker looks great. Ubisoft had some honorable mentions. Nothing I went particularly crazy over, but it was still kind of neat. And hey, Squeenix even showed some Kingdom Hearts 3 gameplay. So yeah, this year's E3 was probably one of my favorites in a long time. But just like every year, you have to sift through a steaming pile of shit to find the diamonds you've been waiting for. What? Oh, well... For fuck's sake! For fuck's sake! Dude, who the fuck gives a shit about Need for Speed? <laughs> Where's Burnout? Okay, no one gives a fuck about Elder Scrolls Online, and did anyone ask for an Elder Scrolls trading card game? I sure didn't! What the fuck is going on in Halo 5? In fact, what the fuck is going on in almost all of the Microsoft conference? What? Look! It's a car! I want the car to like, like fall off the stage that it's like being lowered. Dude, I would cry. Guys. That'd be so funny. Crushes like some fucking people. Oh, and most importantly, fuck Rare! Like really? Fuck you, Rare! Yeah. I fucking hate them so much. Oh, fuck off. Oh, and let's not forget how much EA glorifies their sports games, then neglects everything else that doesn't sell well. Oh. Wow, thanks for that, like, 30 seconds of in-game footage of Mirror's Edge. Back to sports! Instead, we get a Minions game. Why was this necessary? Some old banana peeler. I'm gonna see him get a heart attack on stage. And a bunch of Star Wars Battlefront footage that convinces me even more that I don't want to have anything to do with that travesty. Actual game, <laughs> Actual game models. Oh, and just because I feel like saying it right now, fuck you, Ubisoft. While they did have a few f interesting games, the rest is just forgettable Assassin's Creed bullshit, The Division, Siege, and the rambling memes of Girlwood. Right. Uh, 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 and Nintendo. You may have given us Star Fox Zero, but what the fuck? is this shitty Metroid game. I mean, really, you say nothing about Metroid for years, and then you give me this fucking monstrosity? Like, fuck off, like, seriously? Oh, not to mention that Animal Crossing game. Yeah, no one asked for that either. Mario! Oh my god, this is, this is just as bad as the rare thing! Oh, that's a cool Killing Floor 2 update. Oh, hey, Rising Storm 2, wow, that's neat, yeah. But the rest of the PC conference, sh what a fucking joke. I actually wish I hadn't watched it. Maybe if I had taken a tenth of the time I spent watching that shitty PC conference, and instead, I'm gonna turn off the stream and I'm gonna go jerk off. Been able to see The Last Guardian get shown live, I wouldn't feel so depressed about this year's E3. <sighs> okay, honestly, I'm just complaining at this point, and it's making me sound cynical about E3 in general, which I'm not. Entirely. I just have mixed opinions about this year's E3, and yet I still feel obligated to say something about it. And rather than uploading a video of my fake reaction to the announcement of The Last Guardian like a hundred other people on the internet have, 
in turn making an ass out of myself, or making an ass out of one of my friends, I'd rather just say this. Yes. I watched E3. It was bad, just like every other year, but there were also some good things, too. And you know what? I like that. I like to see games just bug out and not work on a live E3 stage. It's funny. I always go into E3 expecting the absolute worst out of it. But sometimes, just sometimes, I get something back from it that makes the torture worth it. And that's why I watch E3 every year.